Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 48 Square and I am Deb Chanel and welcome family. Welcome back for another treat of the story that Celebrity Insider brought out to us. Okay. On none other than your favorites on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm sure you have a, a, a plethora of people, a vast amount of people that love Nene Leakes as well as Cynthia Bailey. Now, quite frankly, I'm tired of the two. I'm tired of the duo. They need to either part ways for real, for real, or they just need to come back and be friends. Okay? What type of friendship they have doesn't really matter at this time. I'm just over it. Do one or the other, but do something, okay? I don't care if you don't get back together, but stay in your own shit and keep it kosher and just let it be, okay? But if you really want to get back to being friends, get back to being friends and stay friends, okay? At least for the show, if nothing else, okay? Because I'm kind of sick and tired of this. Going back and forth, back and forth. All this banter, all this banter. You know, Cynthia getting uh, people telling her this, that, and the third and how to correct the situation and act upon the situation. Got Nene over here. She thinks she don't need nobody. She ain't going to have nobody telling her what to do. She's just floating, floating, floating. Ain't going nowhere. Because on the reality shows, you have to be in episodes to be able to make your money. I don't know why Nene is just like... She don't need nobody to take with. She don't need to be hanging around nobody. But then in the same breath, flipping it, she needs her friends to be there for her. She needs her sisterhood and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, Nene, we barely see you in the show. You know I have love for you, but I took your car as HBIC last year around October. And I have no plans of giving it back to you. I'm just saying. Because you get, you just get him to be fake, fraudulently, foolishness, and just giving me total fuckery on this show. Okay? Marlo, like I said, she's outshining you. She's doing the whole thing. She's coming to work. Okay? Real Housewives of Atlanta is a job for you all. A job to bring drama endless drama with a lot of sensationalism to it to keep people on their toes and wanting to keep wanting more of this mindless drama of entertainment okay it watches each other we watch the show to just ease our mind get a little key keys last whatever and we go on about our business it helps you all because you all treat this as entrepreneurship and this is your brand meaning yourself and you got to get paid you're definitely not on this show if you're not getting paid nobody would in their right mind so yes it's your job for us entertainment true entertainment who employs you all, they need to have revenue to come in to be able to pay the bills as well as to seal their deal of lucrative wealth that they can continue to make shows ridiculous like this. Um, and then on the flip side, be able to pay you all what you feel you're worth. All right. So everybody kind of washes each other. And we as content creators, bloggers, uh, vloggers, however you see us, mess starters or whatnot, it just is what it is. Everybody trying to get and get in where they can fit in. Okay, for me, I told you I'm here about the money. I'm here about my supplemental income. If they stop paying me today, I would be out like lightning. Okay, just being honest with you. Okay, but um, we got another story from Celebrity Insider. Yes, got my girl over there breaking them out, and she's writing up a story for them. Uh. Ricky Mathers over there, Mathers. Uh, she brought out the story today, uh, January the 11th, Pacific Standard Time Zone, 11:25. Going over there to in a Celebrity Insider. If you're not finding uh, or you want some more edification on what I just put out to you, because they they be bamming out, they be bamming out stories, whether they true or not, it doesn't really matter. It's part of the entertainment business. Okay, I give it to you from different sources, whether you consider them credible or not, does not matter. It's just hey, I'm putting it out. I'm asking my family to come talk with me about it, and we just divulge with one another and say, mm, that was some foul shit that person did, in it. or how could they have done that to that person? What kind of morality compass are they serving? You know, stuff like that. We we talk amongst ourselves. And then if you want to take it and share the video and whatever, we can invite more family members into the house. And they can express their opinions. That's all it is. Mindless drama, mindless entertainment. We just giving our opinions, our viewpoints on subject matter. That's it. But we go on into this article that she wrote up. She said Cynthia Bailey on 
on friendship with Nene Lee's. I still do have love for it. Girl, I'm like, girl, you're going to always have love for Nene. Because why? Because y'all were one of the uh, first starters of the show. And you both are around the same age group. And y'all kind of like similar things. She goes to the clothing store. You were once a model. You're still trying to dab in it here and there. And, you know, y'all kind of fit like hand in glove, okay? Just like water goes into us. We drink water for rehydration of our bodies and stuff like that. It's like y'all can't be separated from each other. I don't know what it is. Maybe y'all do really have a friendship in some or some way doing all of this reality mess and who could be on top and who needs to be on the bottom you know greed just got the boast of both of you all the best of both of you all that's what i'm gonna say that's how i'm gonna look at it because right now both of y'all get on my goddamn nerves and i can't take it okay i'm just i'm just keeping it real all right so anyway she wrote this salacious article of a story now let's get on into it and read what cynthia bailey is claiming to fame about her lost love that she has rekindled or trying to rekindle with Miss, Mrs. Nene Lee's, like the contract, friendship just won't ever die. We don't set it on fire. We don't put it in water. We try to drown it, but it still keep resurfacing. So I'm thinking, okay, that's just hell. Let's just let these two be friends and let's call it a draw. And know that Nene is going to always tear you up inside, uh, in public, in private, however she can get down. Because that's just her mentality. Okay, Cynthia, so as long as you can stay strong with it and not letting them want to put no batteries in your backpack such as your future husband might kill or anybody else that want to say get back with nene do this do that it's not your personality baby don't play it like it is because it's not you don't have that heart you don't have i mean you can have a heart when somebody get on the nerves and you cuss them out we just cuss words verbally whatever we get that that's human all everybody do that uh, but I won't say everybody because I'm generalizing, but uh, I would say a, deg a certain degree of 98% and those 2% left out just to have people out there saying that they don't get down and never get mad and never cuss out anybody. You know, it is plausible that those people are out there, okay? Um. Anyway, we're going to get to the story and what was written up on uh, Cynthia Bailey and Nene Leakes. It goes in to say Cynthia Bailey and Nene Leakes have gone from being two peas in a pot to not even being able to be in the same room with each other. In a recent interview, the supermodel seems hopeful that they will be able to get back to where they once were. And where was that, Cynthia? Okay, you crawling up her ass every time you know you, you get a chance to just to be taping with Nene for her to make you relevant. Okay, if that's where you want to go, baby, I'm fine with it. I come to the conclusion that you can only be who you are so if you're an ass kisser be the best ass kisser you can be and i'm there for you okay that's that's it I, i'm there for you cynthia okay moving back to the article it says on the current airing episodes of the real housewives of atlanta nini has decided to call a truce with the ladies okay she sent cynthia a note to her wine cellar opening that read never in my wildest dreams did i ever imagine that we would be in this place i've always been a supportive friend towards you and this time won't be any different i'm proud of you and cheering for you from afar i hope you continue to have the courage to run after your dreams congratulations on the opening of your new business and i'm sure it will be a success pretty much the letter was just suck city fuck fraudulent and fakery and foolishness going on okay basically what she was saying in a nutshell uh cynthia that you finna start into another business that may not be lucrative but hey i i, I i'm glad you have the guts to proceed and, and process it as normal um i was your friend i'm still your friend even though you don't think i'm your friend it is what it is what i said in public about you being weak and and, and you know just not a good friend i meant that but i'm willing to give you an olive branch and we can solidify ourselves again and i can continue to treat you like shit that's pretty much what the letter was saying okay just my viewpoints of how i'm reading it so if you're good with that cynthia i'm loving it all the way down the road with you okay moving from that situation it says in real time it seems the two are working on repairing their friendship but there is still a way to go yes the way to go is because mike is in cynthia's life now he knows what nini's doing he shows cynthia in every aspect of her demeanor where 
Nene is really not a good friend. Now, if you want to use her to a certain degree to get what you can get or continue to stay on the show so you have to have this negative banter between you all, then go for it. Because it's very lucrative platform you own. But you got to keep up some type of drama. You got to make it believable for the people to want to see you come back. And they give you, you know, if it ain't a lot of a raise, it's some of a raise, okay? But you still in the million dollar frame and we need that, okay? Because baby, I can't take care of you, all right? I had two women in my life before. They don't rip me dry, even though I caused the demise of our relationship or marriage. Because if I was still with them too, I never would have found you. So, yeah, I need my money. And that's another video coming up I got on them about why Cynthia and Mike need a prenup. Okay? But that's basically what he's telling Cynthia. Keep doing you. We're going to try to find you a storyline. But keep working it how you're working it. And, you know, people are loving you. You see that the stats are going up. Okay. And then stats on Nini is going down. That means things are finna reposition themselves. But we want to see you still on the show, Cynthia. That's what Mike's saying. Fuck Nini. Okay. But anyway. Um... We go back to, because that, that wasn't an article. That was just me ad-libbing and giving y'all my spiel. Going back to the article, it says, While speaking with Extra, Bailey was asked if she and Nene could ever be friends again. She responded, I hope so. I really hope so. You know, there were a lot of genuine love there. And even though we're on the outs, there is still love. I still do have love for her. So I won't speak. So I won't speak for her, but I still definitely have love for her. And you know, it sucks to be around your ex-friend and not be able to be like friends and not, you know, how had that, that sister in her. What the hell is this person saying? Hold on. It says, but I still definitely have love for her. And you know, it sucks to be around your ex-friend and not be able to be like friends and not, you know, had that that sisterhood anymore i don't know what they were saying maybe they were saying they don't have that sisterhood anymore maybe the words got combobulated jumbled i don't know didn't make much sense and i had to read it a second time it still didn't make much sense okay but anyway leaving that it says i don't want to not be friends with her i definitely don't want to be enemies with her Okay, well then what do you want to be with her, Cynthia? Because I'm confused. You're talking both out the side of your neck. You want to be with her, you don't want to be with her. You want to make up with her, you don't want to make up with her. You want to be with her, but you don't want her to treat you a certain way. I mean, what is going on? I'm just saying, just go on, be friends with Nene. Let her continue to treat you like shit. You be accepting of her treating you like shit and just go on, okay? Because you got your man now. You ain't got to hang out with Nene unless y'all just needing filming time. Other than that, she's not really in your life. It's not really that special. I mean, I know you want her in your life because you're not showing me any other people around your age group that you can hang with because Candy, uh, Portia, and, and Kenya, they're not really in your age group. They're just like holding you down because you're an OG. You see what I'm saying? Girl, girl. So Nene is your proper person as far as your age group to be around where y'all have more similarities than differences. And I can say the same thing with Marlo. But you you, you, you don't want to be with Marlo. You just want to hang out with the kids. And that's Eva and, you know, and Candy and Portia and Kenya. Them the kids on the show compared to your age, okay? So, yeah, I could see why you want to reach out to Nene and, and, and be a part of her and Marlo's uh, uh, space because where where can we put you, baby? Where can we put you? Because the younger crew are shading the hell at you. Um, all of them in their own special way. And then Nene and Marlo are the only other OGs you can hang around that can, that are in your age group and that can similarly... Uh, sympathize with you or empathize with you i don't know what we going with it but like i said i understand why you want to be back with nene and it's okay it's okay but going back uh to the article it says cynthia also commented on leaks claim that there would be no real housewives of atlanta without her she agrees to the extent that there is no other nene leaks and it's in, in parting, it's saying, what do you think about Bailey's statement? Okay, y'all already know what I feel about Bailey's statement. It just is what it is. It's stuck in the mud. She ain't going to never get rid of that friendship contract. It just keeps coming back and back and back. She wants Nene. She wants to be around Nene. Nene completes her. Okay, I, 
it's, it's, it's a weird situation, but it just is what it is. They fit like a hand in glove. They fit like socks and shoes, okay? This is just how way it is. But y'all get in them comments, family, and tell me what y'all think about this wish watchy stuff that they got going on, being in the media, talking about Nene Lee's. Okay, Nene and Lee's ain't paying her, but does. Does. Okay, but like I said, y'all, um, yeah, y'all can get get me together. In other words, make me understand this situation. Because right now, I'm just discombobulated. You know, I'm like, Seth, it's just going to be friends with Nene. Stay out the, the vlog. Stop talking about her in a negative way. Because it's kind of making you look bad. Because you, you're here, there, you're everywhere. But then again, you're nowhere on this situation. Kenya's going to always go for Nene and the rest of the crew. But what Nene don't understand, I would be filming with these women and be shading the shit out of them at the same time. I'll be like, Marlo, get in my bag. Am season whatever and am i on every episode okay that means i'm getting paid at the end okay i'm saving and yet i am flossing i'm saving and yet i am flossing you know what i'm saying hand 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 er, you know everything is looking good in my world okay but y'all trying to be in, picking sides and this that and the third I, i'll be neutral all the way down the line and i'm feeling filming with candy i'm feeling with kenya i'm feeling with portia uh, you know, it's like we playing patty cake, you know, tag off, tag off, tag me in, you know what I'm saying? I'm with friends with everybody and nobody at the same damn time, okay? But that's all I have for this video. Y'all uh, like it, please share, like my videos, and definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so at this time. What are you waiting on? I'm just going to keep getting better. I'm going to keep getting growing uh, with the help of the Lord and with my family helping me out, sharing my video, liking my videos. It's just... It's just a thing and a place to be, okay? But with all due respect and all parting type greetings, I'm going to go with Don Cornelius when he said, I ain't got nothing but love for you. I ain't want to wish you nothing but peace. And you know you got soul. If you're over here with Deb Chanel's 48th world. Okay, y'all. Y'all be blessed. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.